Welcome back to Itzy, where if we can make teriyaki tofu, then so can you. Originating in Japan, teriyaki tofu showcases the country's culinary ingenuity in combination with simple ingredients to create bold and delicious flavors. It's a delightful twist on a classic Japanese dish that brings together the satisfying texture of crispy tofu with the sweet and savory flavors of teriyaki sauce. Pan frying the tofu allows for a crispy exterior while maintaining a soft and tender interior, providing a delightful contrast in texture. So let's start with the sauce. You could of course buy some teriyaki sauce from a store, but we're going to make our own. In a small bowl, we're going to combine two tablespoons of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of cooking wine, one tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of water, and one teaspoon of dark soy sauce. Stir that all together thoroughly. Moving on to the tofu, make sure that you get hard or traditional tofu. Don't use soft tofu because it'll fall apart in the pan. Our package of tofu came with two blocks of 350 grams. We're going to cut each of the blocks into nine equal pieces. As you can see Uncle Fred doing here, he's going to put two cuts into the tofu, then rotate it, and put two more cuts, equaling nine pieces. Do the same thing to the second block. The next step is to take your piece of tofu and roll it up in a strip of nori. This strip of seaweed is the same kind that's used for making sushi. You can find it in your local Asian markets or even on Amazon. Take your time wrapping the strip around your tofu because the nori is a little bit brittle and it can snap if handled too roughly. The next step is to roll each piece of tofu into cornstarch, as well as clicking the like and subscribe buttons. The starch creates a nice crispy shell around the food, absorbs all the delicious flavors from the sauce, and thickens it at the same time. Over at the stove, we're going to put our tofu pieces into a well-oiled pan over medium to high heat. Make sure that you use a large pan, because if you have a lot of pieces like we did, the pan can get quite crowded. And you need enough space to be able to turn them over easily. We're going to have to flip them four times so that each of the four sides becomes lightly browned. When your tofu is done cooking, and you flipped it four times, push them together in the pan so that it's easier to pour your teriyaki sauce over them. Continue turning your tofu while it's cooking so that each of the four sides becomes coated with teriyaki sauce. The cornstarch coating on the tofu will absorb and thicken the sauce quite quickly. Stop cooking the sauce once it starts to thicken. Remove them from the pan when the sauce is thick and you're confident that all four sides are coated. And there you have it, teriyaki tofu. To make it look a little fancier, you can garnish it with some white sesame seeds and some diced green onions. Here we've served them as part of a complete meal alongside our steamed fish with garlic and vermicelli and our scallion oiled chicken. You can find the scallion oiled chicken on our playlists and the steamed fish dish will be coming out on our playlist next week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. If you tried our teriyaki tofu out for yourself, please let us know down in the comments how it went for you. And if you want to see more tofu dishes, please hit the like button so that we know you enjoy this type of content. And as always, thank you so much for watching.